lay out one of the most difficult elements in the floor exercise for women's gymnastics. And she nails it. Nice work. I had two judges come up to me and tell me to really take notice of this gymnast. No fatigue in her performance. This is the only event that she qualified in from the all around. So she's been saving all her energy for this one single performance. Very innovative. In front, one off that handspring, double back. Great difficulty. She's got the crowd behind her. Watch this now. <laughs> Possibly a brand new style in women's gymnastics on the floor. Here we go. <laughs> I think I've seen that in breakdancing now somewhere. Here we go. Last tumbling run. Pull in double back. She is going to be hard to beat. Oh, this kid from Romania is a big hit in Beijing tonight. And she really has to drive hard into this double layout to get the speed and the rotation and also to get the height. Remember, she's going two times around. And look how straight her body is in the air. She just pikes slightly as she comes down, but not enough to get a deduction. A 9.95 for one year with Shushanova still to come. One of the judges at this competition is Czechoslovakia's Vera Chaslavska. In 1964, at the Tokyo Olympics, she established herself as one of the gymnastic greats with three golds and two silvers. Then, just after the Soviets occupied her home country at the 68 Olympics, she won four golds and two silvers. But not without a political statement, as Jim McKay described. Listen to that roar for Vera Chaslavska. And now the Soviet anthem. And again, she has turned her head to the right and down, just as she did at the last ceremony. This does not appear to be an accident. You're looking at the woman that was my hero in 68. We're friends now, and I know the pain that she felt. I think the whole world knew. Interesting how some of the more memorable Olympic moments did not occur during competition at all. Elena Shushanova of the Soviet Union now in floor exercise. Remember, they carry over their scores from the all-around competition in which medals were awarded for the total accumulation of scores on all apparatus. Now, in this, the final event of the individual competition, we are watching medals that are awarded for each individual apparatus. And she also begins with a double layout. Body is a little bit loose on that, but she makes it around with no problem. Again, we'll see the power of Shushanova. She begins her second tumbling run. It's a combination tumbling run. Round off to a side somi one and a half, and she immediately goes into a back handspring to a layout. This is a new exercise for Shushanova. Showing her flexibility here. her last tumbling run right into a double back not quite the difficulty of Voinia Voinia ended with a full in double back and that was just a double back so we'll see what the scores say well that was some unnatural edit in her music that allowed that abrupt ending Elena Shushanova of the Soviet Union And a 9.975 gives her the lead, but if I were Voinia, I'd be a little bit disappointed with the scoring. Here now is the final performer in the final apparatus of the World Cup, Oksana Omelianchuk. She won the gold in the beam competition, finished second for the silver in the uneven bars, and also won the silver in the ball. Quite a weekend for her. And if you remember from the World Championship, she has very unusual music and usually a real crowd.
crowd pleaser on this event. Not to mention great difficulty. Here's her full in double back, right into a back handspring step out. Kathy, she tries in her routines, in every routine that we've seen, to be a little bit different. Here it's the music and some of her moves on the balance beam. It was some of the movements with her hands and her feet. She takes after Olga Corbett, uh, uh, who is, of course, from the 72 Olympics, but the style is very similar. Back handspring to a triple twist, front flip. Now this is her very popular combination tumbling run. Two in a row. choosing one of the Soviet gymnasts, Shishinova or Emelianchik. If you were the team coach and you had one routine in order to win the championship, who would you pick? Well, I would have to think that uh, Emelianchik on this particular apparatus was really the most fun to watch and has greater difficulty. Although, although Shishinova gets the score. The crowd obviously enjoyed the performance of Oksana Omelianchik. Soviet fans have certainly had a lot to cheer for here. And what about this? A perfect 10. What a way for us to remember the Soviet performance here at this World Cup. But Omelianchik will capture the bronze. Camilla Buena of Romania.